In a perfect world, well, actually, let's just be realistic. How fast should a two-man crew be able to wrap a Ford Sprinter van? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Matt, you sound like one of my clients. How much to, how much to wrap a vehicle for? That's the wrong answer. What's that Sprinter? We're talking <laughs> long axle, short axle. Uh, for us, uh, two guys with a Sprinter, we'll probably say, what, 10 hours, 12 hours? Uh, in a real world, if we're depending on if we're doing window perf and the whole nine and roof, it could take us two guys two full days to get it done the proper way out of our shop. Mm. We're not super fast, but um, uh, a large sprinter would take at least two days to install for us. Yeah. Uh, adding three guys could knock it down to a day. But I think a lot has, I mean, I, I just have been noticing too, my story lately is <laughs> lamination, that people are still using the wrong lamination for sprinters and stuff like that. Like, you know, I teach obviously a lot for Avery Dennison and they have 1060, which is two mil and it's for flat, and then 1460s for recessed areas. Right. I still see people using 1060 and it just doesn't work on a sprinter. And that's going to add to your time. And I think that makes a big difference. Yeah, absolutely. Materials are huge. Materials are huge. Yep. Mm -hmm. And your environment as well. So, I mean, there's 100%. a lot of things that go and play with it. So, absolutely. Well, I, I think that's too is if we printed it or was the kit, kit shipped to us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who produced the, whole, the graphic as well? Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that changes the whole scenario. And pre mask on top of it always helps. Sometimes uh, <laughs> some people prefer to have horizontal panels. It's less panels that you need to line up and some others, if you're working by yourself, you might just want to have vertical panels and can go along really fast. Uh, Sometimes it takes just as long to clean a vehicle that, that, than it does to install it because uh, you want to you wanna clean completely thorough and make sure you don't have to come back and once you start pulling the back and realizing, oh, this is not clean, and you know, you're gonna have a lot of downtime by just like going back and forward, just making sure everything's clean. Uh, could take four to five hours sometimes if the vehicle's completely dirty, even if it's brand new from the dealership. Uh, in between the gaskets, gas caps, it's so much like Justin were uh, mentioning earlier. These RVs are loaded with silicone, trailers are loaded with silicone, and you don't wanna stick vinyl and realizing nothing's sticking because it's nothing you can do then. Everything's gonna stick to the back of the vinyl and, uh, and there's no way you could go ahead and stick your hand behind the vinyl, pull all that silicone and still make it look good. So uh, on our shop, I will say a sprinter like that, it's, it's about right uh, eight, 10 hour with uh, really good installers and depending on the production. So if we need to line up uh, six panels on the side, we only need to line up two. So that makes things really fast and, uh, and depending on the method of what we're using and the tools that we're using, that's what is gonna determine uh, how fast we'll be able to get it done.